another video in my restroom. Alrighty, let's begin. Today is week one for Stephanie's party training. Going into tips and tricks and details. Beginning day one. I'm not gonna lie, it was a bit, a bit complicated. Yes, we had our accidents. Yes, we had to switch on these like every three to four hours. We had a change of pair of underwear. So, as the hours passed by, she started getting the gist little by little. So I was like, the tip and trick I used, I was like, what does my daughter like? What does she enjoy in the restroom? What is around in the restroom that she's enjoyed? Light bulb, sinks, and washing hands. So I was like, okay, what I can do is I can buy hand soap, Beeping! Yes, hand soap is what helped me potty train. Why? Because every time she whizzes, she comes and washes her hands. She's not allowed to come to the sink unless she pees on the toilet or on her potty. So that's one of the tips and tricks I use. After that day, the accident started decreasing and decreasing. So day two of potty training, um, we woke up and I took her diaper off and I put her in her big girl undies and she chose them and she got the Mickey Mouse ones and that's another tip. Another tip is let your girl, I mean let your daughter or your toddler choose their underwears because if you choose underwear like for example just colorful like Stephanie's um, then she'll be like eh, that's boring. So let her choose like Mickey Mouse ones or um, Sophia the First or Spongebob or Jack and the Neverland Pirates or whatever cartoon character she likes, let her choose as underwear. So on day two, um, she had about an accident, two accidents. It, it, it went from four to five accidents in one day to two to four to two to three accidents like this the next day. So on day two, we woke up and I changed her diaper into some big girl underwears. Um, the first thing she did is she told me that she had to go pee, so I came to sit her on the toilet and she peed. So I clapped and I was like, hooray, I make the biggest show in the world. So tip number three, make and celebrate like the world's gonna end. It's your last celebration. Also, so that same day, um, we continued potty training and the day went smoother and smoother as I went on. So that, the day two, I only switched her underwears like three times. And it was like in the majority of like morning, afternoon, and night, three times. The next day, she started getting the chest, so I changed her underwear morning, midnight, I mean afternoon and night. So it went from like six times that like underwear per day to three underwear. So I was like, oh, she's getting the chest. It's getting easier. Third day, she did it herself. She woke up, she took the diaper off, she peed. I was like, awesome! So it was working. Why? Because she knows that after she pees, she gets to have some little rubber ducky time while she washes her hands. Obviously, she loves rubber ducky. She loves water. Her exit ticket to the sink or the faucet or whatever you like to call it is leaking on the toilet. Day four, um, she did the same thing. She woke up. She went to the potty and whatever. She had no accidents on day four. No accidents. Underwear all completely all day until we decided to go to the Walmart and I was like, okay, she's not fully potty training. I, I didn't feel like she was completely potty training, potty trained. And I was like, I'm gonna risk it and I'm gonna see if in public she tells me that she has to go, you know, potty. So we go in public and we're just, you know, swirling down the lanes and, you know, taking some time. And I don't know where we're just here. I was like, oh Lord, my daughter just went. So obviously I called customer, not customer service, I called for help and things that don't live in an accident, pick it up that way, no one will slip on it and whatnot. So um, they cleaned it, I went to the restroom and I told her you need to tell me that you gotta go pee. And she told me manos, manos means hand. I was like no, you don't get to wash your hands because you peed on your undies and you're supposed to go on the toilet. We come home, she goes pee 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 pee, which means pee, obviously. She took her diaper off, she sat in the toilet, she did, then she brought her little basket of a toy, she put it by the faucet, and washed her hands. 
So it was getting easier. She's starting to understand that the potty is meant to pee. And then day five, um, there was no accident. Completely, not one single accident throughout the completely entire day. We went to go get snow cones, as you've seen on my previous vlogs, and um, she hold it like for 20 minutes. I think we were there like for 10, 15 minutes we were there. And we came back and she told me that she had to go to the restroom. I brought it to the restroom and she went. So I was like, oh, she's starting to get the gist. This so we're struggling on that and on, on her holding her whiz. But week one went very smooth. It's going very smooth. The first day she had two accidents on poop on her underwear. She was completely afraid to poop in the toilet. I don't know why. The second day she pooped on the toilet. And from that point on, she poops on the toilet all the time. She doesn't have a poop accident. She has a pee accident. But today is one week and the past two three days there was no completely no accidents probably just one so i went like for six accidents seven accidents ten accidents per day to one accident and all thanks to the faucet so um that is my trick and my that is one of my tips actually for week one as the weeks go on i will find different tips and tricks obviously uh, also she likes the big toilet instead of her potty, so that's another thing. I let her use the big potty. Obviously, I help her, so uh, that's another type of trick. Just take diapers when we go to the store or we go to a doctor's appointment. I take diapers because I want her to be completely 100% house potty trained. Completely. Right now, we have, you know, at least one accident. At least one accident per day. Sometimes we can go with no accident all day. But she does pee on her diaper when we go to the store or, you know, so that's letting me know that she can't hold it like in a store. So the moment that she is completely potty trained will be the moment that I take her to the store with diaper and she tells me she has to whiz and I'll take her diaper off and I'll put it back on. We come home and the diaper is dry. I will keep doing researches. Uh, it, it's kind of, it kind of is complicated at the beginning, like the first two two days it's kind of like hey you gotta pee in the toilet but then after that they get to get and they get the hand of it and they go by themselves guys <laughs> so um that's it guys i'm gonna stop blabbing next week on week two on potty training i'll see you guys with more tips and tricks leave comments and questions below or what you're wondering if you're wondering if you have early started week potty training week one or you're planning to start potty training next month good luck to you guys it is not easy but it's not complicated i do believe that you should probably train whenever your toddler gives you signs is one she doesn't like being on a dirty diaper two she tells her she has to pee and she pees three she pees and then she tells you she needs to go pee or four she poops on her diaper and then tells you that she got to go poop so those are the four signs that sound on stephanie every toddler and child is different good luck to you guys and don't forget that i love y'all i see you next friday with week two on party training Bye.